What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, this is TWA Motorsports, and uh, well today it is freezing cold, uh, 35 I believe, and so if you see my breath, that is what is going on. But we are working on the truck again. Now, I actually got this idea, and we're gonna do a couple things today. We'll talk about that here in just a second, but I've got this idea from one of the comments that you guys left in the description, and I don't, I'm sorry guys, I don't know the gentleman's name, but he said, you need to do something about your antenna. Well, obviously, yes, I do. So we've gotten a lot of this truck back together for the most part, but I put this antenna back on, the stock antenna, to show you guys how absolutely ridiculous it looks. So obviously it's taller than the truck, and um, well, it looks terrible. So what we are going to do today is we're gonna get rid of that. Now, normally I would put a little short antenna on that came to like right here, which looks pretty good, but I hate the fact that these trucks aren't symmetrical. As, as a matter of fact, it drives me crazy that the windshield wipers don't come in from both directions. I mean, it has two mirrors, everything's symmetrical on the truck, but this antenna, like there's just no good way to do this. So what we are going to do today, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. It was just barely screwed on anyway, is we are gonna get rid of this. Now, some other stuff that we are going to be doing today is now that if the mailman shows up, but, um, a couple of my lights were out in the back so you can see my new light that we put in is out uh, I'm gonna replace those lights I'm gonna replace the white lights that you see with some LEDs but the other ones I'm gonna put basic lights back in the other thing I'm going to be doing is my license plate lights one of them was burnt out as well I had some I just had some bulbs laying around I thought they were working but they are not so I'm gonna replace those with LEDs as well and then what I'm waiting on the mailman for is this piece right here which is stupid expensive I really should have robbed that off the other bumper but the plastic was all faded um, and like always guys I'll list all this stuff in the in the uh, description of the video down below but we're gonna get started I'm gonna pop the hood we're gonna get that piece off here are the bulbs that I'm gonna be using and I know it's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff but I have a pet boys it's closing and so I went and got all the LEDs that I possibly could because everything's half price their uh, retail site is closing they're gonna keep it open as a shop but um, that's why I've got these so these for the license plate this is actually an interior bulb and then these two are for the backlight uh, that was in the back of my truck so anyway I'm gonna set you up on the tripod we're gonna pop the hood open and we are going to get this piece out of the way we're gonna kind of show you what I'm going to be doing. Actually, I'll show you the piece that I bought um, is right up here. So check this out. This is off an Escalade and check out what it doesn't have. It doesn't have an antenna hole. Now, good and bad here, guys. The bad side is this is discontinued. You can't get this anymore. Um, I have a buddy that works for GM and he was able to source one from an, a basically a place in Minnesota it was a dealer in Minnesota that had it as old stock and it was the only one in the United States so sorry guys but I will tell you that this comes off an 03 to 06 Escalade is what you can get this off of so if you have one in a salvage yard go rob this off of one of those um, should be relatively cheap probably five bucks or less and uh, it all it does is snap in but uh, I don't want to lose antenna because I do listen to the radio so we're gonna show you what I'm going to be doing to get this off and the antenna relocated. So let's see if we can get this off without breaking anything or scratching the truck because we don't want to do either one of those. I'm just using a flat blade screwdriver. I think, there we go, yep. So just three tabs and one of them actually wasn't even there. So we got the old one off and like I said, it's just three tabs that snap in. Now, what we need to do is I'm going to unbolt the antenna. So uh, it looks like a seven millimeter. We're gonna unbolt, there's three bolts. Let's see if I can show you guys the three bolts that hold the antenna in. We're gonna go unbolt that and get it to come out a little bit. I probably should use my impact, but I don't know, there's something about taking them out by hand. I don't, I don't know, I don't wanna drop them. I don't wanna hit the fly off and scratch the truck. get them all out of here like I said there is three of them I may go get a magnet so I don't accidentally drop them down in the fender of the truck the 
this one's really close on this side, the one closest to the fender. So just be careful. You guys may not be working on a freshly painted truck, so it might not bother you as much, but I don't know, you spend money to paint something, you want to keep it nice as long as you can, you know? All right, I'm gonna go grab a magnet and pull these things out. That other one's gonna be a pain. Might be able to get it out by hand. Ah, I got it. All right, so now that we have that loose, you guys can see that it's loose. I'm gonna pop the hood and I'll show you what our next process is gonna be. Now that we have it unbolted, if you pull on this, it will come apart. I've got it already started. So this comes off. Um, be careful because there is a piece of plastic here and it might wanna fall off as well. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath all of this to where it is under the fender here. So you see these two bolts right here on the top. What we're trying to do, and you can reach back in here underneath and uh, grab that wire and pull it to where it's on this side uh, underneath. And we're gonna put it um, just below the hinge for the hood. So I'm gonna grab that, thread it through, and then we'll put it back together and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about once I get that finished. So I now have it back here it fell down back below but I have it back in here and back together and we got to figure out where we want to put the antenna now a couple people have shown different methods of doing this in the past um, like on some of the forums but a lot of times they run it underneath this lip right here which is I'm pretty sure where I'm gonna end up putting it the other option is some people have ran it underneath the cowl um, my problem is, is I think the antenna is a little too thick. You might have to go with a smaller antenna if you want to do that. The other thing people have done is they've wrapped wire around the top where the antenna connection was and they ran a wire up here, just a, a uh, basically a speaker wire. Now, the downside to that is your, your reception is not going to be quite as good. The other thing we need to do is um, I got to figure out a way to mount this. I'm not sure if I'm just going to zip tie it. I know I'm going to zip tie the antenna down below here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this method, but you really need a ground. Those act as a ground. So I'll probably get a wire and go from the triangle piece here that we unbolted back up to either the stud that we started with, or I might find a place to ground it down here. But you do, you definitely need a ground when you're working with an antenna. So I'm going to screw the antenna on. We'll kind of look around at where I want to place it. I thought about going inside the fender. The problem is, is if it ever broke loose, it might hit the paint and uh, make a dent from the inside. And we don't want to, we, we obviously don't want that. So uh, I think I'm going to keep it on the inner structure of the fender here. So I'm going to show you guys what I rigged up here. Um, I put a little L bracket on it. And a lot of people that do this, I went back and looked at a couple of ways and they just put a bracket up here and run it down the fender. And I don't like the look of that. I don't want it to, um, I just don't want it to be there. So you can see I got my antenna in here. I've been moving it around. But what I've got here is I've got the bracket. I just made a little L bracket out of some scrap metal that I had. And um, actually I think it was already bent in like a 45. But what I'm planning on doing here is there's a hole, an existing hole in the fender, in the inner fender here, that I'm gonna bolt that to. And then my antenna is going to run kind of up here underneath um, the coolant reservoir and possibly even underneath here. But I just didn't like it setting in this track. It's just going to get scraped up and scrape up the paint. And I just didn't want to deal with that. So that is where I chose to put it. So uh, if you guys want to do that method where you just run it down this, that does work as well. Or if you just want to take it off altogether, like you're not using your radio. But um, I'm going to go ahead and mount this and then I'll kind of show you how I have it routed once I get it mounted. It's been a couple days. Uh, that day was just too cold and uh, I needed a bracket. So this is, you can see I have a bracket on there right now. It's a smaller one like this and I needed a bigger one. So 
Uh, I just got tired of freezing and my fingers weren't wanting to work. So I'm going to put this longer bracket on. You can see I got a little more room, but I'm going to be mounting it to an existing hole that's in the fender. I'm going to go ahead, get my wrench, get that tightened down, bolted to this new bracket. And then I'll show you guys kind of how I'm going to be routing the antenna. Because like I said, I don't really like it um, up here in the fender lip. I want it down lower. So uh, that's why I'm mounting it where I am. And I'm not having to drill any holes because like I said, there's an existing hole right here in this inner fender. So let me get that all wrapped up and then I'll show you guys where I'm going to put the antenna, kind of how I'm going to route it. Now I have that bolted into place. I'll try to put you guys back here so you can see it. And we are ready. That's not the easiest thing to reach, by the way. Sorry, I'm banging the camera around on the truck. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the antenna. And so what we are going to attempt to do is we're going to go just underneath the lip here and then under the intake that comes in from the fender uh, is what I think it's going to be best and look the nicest anyway. So I'm going to go grab my antenna, uh, just th push it through. Obviously, you're going to have to come down into the fender here come forward and then go back but um, I'll show you guys once it's all finished kind of how it's setting so let's take a look at where I mounted it so you can see I screwed it on the top of the stud like we had before and it's actually going right I don't know if you guys can yeah you should be able to see that right here and then the very tip of it you can see the ball from the top right there so I went underneath this fender vent that goes into the fender and uh, looks really good out of the way not up here where anything can bother it now I did go in and test it and it works just great I can pick up a station about 50 miles away and um, you know there's not a lot of clouds today so maybe it changes on a cloudy day but I think it's gonna be great I don't listen to that channel anyway and I'm about 30 miles away from the channels I normally listen to now I don't listen to it a ton most of the time I have my phone hooked up but one other thing that looks a lot better now obviously we haven't snapped the new piece on let's go grab it and uh, snap it into place and then we'll take a look at how much better it's going to look um, without that on there now there's only three clips remember that hold this on just the two you see here at the top and the one on the bottom and i'm hoping that you guys can find one of these either new and maybe my dealer didn't know what he was talking about or and I, like I said, I'll list the part number down below, or hopefully you can find one in a salvage yard, but oh my gosh, guys, look how much better that looks compared to the old um, antenna hole. I know it's little things like this, but man, it looks so much better. So now that we got that all finished up, we tested it, the antenna works great. Uh, like I said, I'll list everything that I use down below, including that part number. Hopefully you guys are able to find one. If not, hopefully you can find one use. But now let's move on to some lights. So uh, as I said at the first of the video, we had to replace uh, some lights up here in the top. I know the bed looks rough, guys, especially in the sun, but going to do a bed liner. Don't worry about it. Let's get some lights up here in the top. And um, aside from that, we also have some uh, lights for the rear here and then obviously since it's been a couple days this piece came in we're gonna hopefully hopefully be able to get it installed it looks like a ginormous pain but we're gonna try anyway so as far as lights go uh, obviously like I said I got LEDs to put on the outers these pieces here and then I've got just regular bulbs to put in the brake light and I don't know whether it's true or not but I've always been told that if you touch these bulbs they burn out quicker so I always try to use like maybe my shirt to uh, keep from touching them like I said, I don't know if it's true or not. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But they say the oil from your fingers caused these to burn out. I don't know. That may be crazy, but what it doesn't take any more effort to use a shirt or a towel or something to put those in. Now the LEDs, they're obviously a little bit different, so I don't worry about that as much. I'm gonna have to cut these open. They're not gonna like just peel open, are they? Oh man, okay, I'm gonna go peel these open real quick. We're back, we got them open. And these just push in just like the other ones did. Hopefully, they fit in the housing. They look pretty big, but those other bulbs are pretty big too. I think they probably will. Let's grab the housing here. Let's see. Now, as you guys know, I did buy a new one of these. I found a GM one and uh, yeah, it fits. Awesome. 
Anyway, I did buy a GM one just because I don't like the LED style looking ones. I don't know. Just maybe it's just me, but all right, let's hook this thing back up. Get it back in the truck. Oh, I guess the bottom goes in first. Probably should have tested them, shouldn't I? Probably should have tested them before I put them in here. Don't get crazy tightening these. They are very easy to crack. There is a rubber gasket that goes around it. That's another reason why I bought a new one. A lot of times, if you have a leak in your truck, it's because that gasket isn't sitting where it's supposed to be. But we should be good. I'm gonna test them real quick. I won't show you guys that on camera and then we'll go to the back lights. Now moving on to these rear lights. Hopefully they'll be pretty simple. They just twist out and the new ones push in. side's in. How about the other side here? Well, they are in. So hopefully I'll be able to give you guys like an image of it at night with it lit up. Obviously these are gonna look a little bit different now with the LEDs in place, but we got them in there. Now let's see if we can tackle this piece, which like I said, it it comes in three pieces and I'll show you guys that here in a minute, but um, I don't know. It's probably gonna be a ginormous pain to put into place. I'm not gonna use a spare tire ever anyway that I know of, I may end up taking it out, but uh, I want that cover just because that looks really crappy without it. So I'm gonna go grab it. We'll talk about how it goes into place. Well, I've got all the parts here and uh, it actually, there's three separate pieces if you don't have the original bumper or you're not reusing anything. So it has this that, I, I don't really understand the purpose of this other than uh, maybe something for this to set against and not expand, I don't know. Uh, of course your piece that goes in and uh, it goes in uh, like this actually yeah no it goes in like that just like that and um, then you have a ring that snaps on from the back side that actually hooks on this little ledge here so the very first thing we need to do is we need to put this into place now it goes in from the back side and uh, it kind of sets up against everything you got to kind of press it into place it may be maybe harder to get into place than what I think it will be kind of sandwiches around everything yeah I may have to get underneath here and do it. you guys can still see I hit the camera all right that seems to be where it goes 
now that we have that in, this piece goes in and you need to make sure, actually, before I do that, I lied to you guys, you need to put this piece on because it's actually going to go like this and snap into place. So you see that ring like that, but we need to put it on after we put it through and we also have to line it up with our spare tire actual piece down here so everything's lined up and then this goes up against the truck and we try to make sure it's square and then we got to push this ring into place which is probably easier said than done i'm gonna have to go get a pair of pliers or something to get it into place I'll be right back. So after messing with this for a minute, I actually took this black piece out and uh, it looks as though this is the way it's supposed to go in. So that piece that holds the inside of this is held in with that first piece that I put in. And it looks to be easiest to put it in like that instead of trying to sandwich it down while you're pushing this in. So now that we have that in, you wanna make sure it's lined up because it's gonna be a ginormous pain to get out if you don't but we should be able to just snap it into place. Or at least let's hope we can snap it into place. It's gonna be fun, that's for sure. I don't know guys, doesn't act like it wants to go in there almost in it's in on one side i have to get underneath move it around well i got it on there what a hokey piece of crap i don't like it i don't like the fitment look at this it's in all the way i mean i can push it but it it comes back out Man, I hate the way that fits. That's probably gonna irritate me. I'll end up pulling this bumper off at some point, but I guess we got it on. I'll show you guys underneath kind of what we're looking at. But what happened, I think, is this um, ring right here pushed out a little bit when I was putting it together. And uh, the only way to fix it is to pull that snap ring on the inside with all the teeth on it out. And it's almost impossible to get to with the bumper on, so. That may be something that I address down the road. For now, I mean, I guess it's on there, even though I absolutely hate the look of it, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I don't like that anyway, but the bumpers come pre-made with them in there. Like I said, I'll probably end up taking the spare tire out, and I might be able to get to it once the spare tire's out, but I don't know, it looks kind of goofy. I don't want to get real crazy because I don't want to bust the plastic. I mean, this is this was $70 worth of parts that I just put on that fit like crap. And they're all GM, this is all GM stuff. I'll list it in the description down below if you guys have to replace it. But man, I do not like the look of it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to the interior. Now that we have that back part finished up, I want to change this light out that you see up here. And I've got a flat blade screwdriver here. We're going to try to pop that out just like that. That's going to be really hot. There's a dome override. Man, that's probably going to be hot. Oh, man. I think I pulled it apart. All right. Yeah, I'm pulling it all apart. Okay, I'm going to have to set this down and take that bulb out. So I was able to get the bulb out, but it looks like it's coming apart. So hopefully the bulb will at least hold it together. But we got a new LED bulb here. We're gonna attempt to put into place. And let's see if it works. Of course not. Nope. And I think the reasoning is 
Yeah, I'm not really sure. It doesn't fit really well. This is the bulb that's specified for it, but it doesn't act like it wants to fit. We're going to bend it around. I may have to re-solder this connection here or replace this. Not really sure what was going on with it, but it, um, it acts like it's got a short in it, so I think I'm going to end up having to replace this all together because it's actually melted here. It's not soldered, but... It seems to be working for now. I'm gonna put the glass piece back in it. Um, I don't understand what's going on there. It's just uh, cheaply made, if I had to, if I had to guess. But anyway, that's gonna keep uh, a lot of heat out of out of this, to be quite honest with you. Because man, those things get these things get ridiculously hot. That's another reason I like to replace them. Not only do I like the light better, but it gets so hot. Now I don't remember because it's light outside. If it has uh, lights in the floor. But uh, if it does, I'll probably go, and I think it does, I think I can see them shining down there. If it does, I'll probably replace those as well, but uh, seems to be working. So I think that is going to finish it up for today. We got a lot accomplished, or it seems like a lot anyway, in a couple days, but we got the antenna relocated, which I do, I absolutely love this, guys. Uh, thank you to whoever put it in the comments section one of my past videos because I would have never thought of this. When I was looking back, it looked like a ton of people had done this in the past, but because these trucks are older now, it's just not something that you see a lot. Great idea though, great idea. Now they do make a panel, a whole cowl that you can replace, but I think it it's all smooth and it looks kind of 80s-ish when it's painted like the truck. I don't really care for that. I actually like this. Looks factory, makes things more symmetrical. I only wish that we could get the, the uh, wiper arms to be symmetrical like this one to come in like this but I'm not going to be re-engineering the wiper motor to make that happen. This looks completely fine, looks a lot better. Other than that, we got the, uh, what, the new lights, or the new light, I say lights, we need lights, but we have one single light that we put in up here, and uh, that is going to cool that down a little bit and make it a little brighter inside. I, I still have two on each side. I was able to see, once it got a little darker, that there are two lights in the floor that I need to replace with LEDs. We got the two LEDs on the outer sides here and the new bulbs on the inside. One of those center bulbs was burned out. I wanted to get a new one, obviously. And then the outer ones, that'll make it nice at night if I ever have anything in the back that I want to see. The only time those will be on is obviously if the dome light's on, but uh, or the cargo light, sorry. We got the LEDs in the license plate lights, and then we put this piece on that fits like absolute trash. I don't like it. I don't love it. I'll probably end up doing something different. I'm either going to have to take the bumper off or, well, once I get the spare tire out, I might have enough room to work in there, but uh, I do not like that whatsoever. But I guess it plugged the hole that was there before. Golly, there's cobwebs all over this thing. It's that time of year, guys, here. There's spiders everywhere, but tell me what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. I love to hear comments from you guys. Any ideas? Now, obviously, I'm not going to put like a $10,000 LS7 in this truck, but let me hear what you guys think. If it's an interior, exterior, something that you want to see, hit up the comments, let me know. Guys, if you do like this video though, please smash that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, please go down, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell icon, that way you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And well, stay tuned because we have a ton more coming.